Hey, Arthur. Some poles and whiskey. Like the waves of the bay of the biscuit. I began to tumble and roar. My face was as red as a lobster. I fell and broke my head. I don't need this right now. My watch was picked from my fob, sir. I'll never get drunk no more. I'm resolved to try it. I'll stick to a moderate diet. I'll drink, but I'll deny it. And shun the hell I'll store. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy pickings. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> This way. Bunch of smart Alex. Here. How do you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here, exactly? 
Well, I told you. There's a wagon what are you with doing? a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon. Williamson? Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? 
I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't. I, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the, the barn. Sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Come on, the 
this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? Your right or my right? Shh. You better not disappoint me. Made a me. meal oh. out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. Uh oh, really those boys ain't just Guess we should go give him a hand. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our back. It was an again. honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run, quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move.
heard the song. Show me. You know they shoot horses less crazy than you. I tell you, the wife told me something. Real old fella stole the preacher's wagon right out from under. Mm-hmm. Gunsmith is raising prices on bullets. Don't be saying that's too much like Ain't the first that's occurred to me. Boy. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir, there is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? 
But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. No. Oh. This must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. There's nothing more we can do here. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep, not the nicest fellas in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They're right again here. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. 
So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's are strange. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the ride. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Us. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock him. Don't round him up later. Get the other one. We'll take the ride. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. So, tell me about <laughs> That you. is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, 
Reckon one or two sticks should do. I'll deal with the other stills. As you were, Private Williams. Shut up. Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. <laughs> Quick, let's go before any more show up. Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. 
Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Easy now. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me, but you're more than that. 